Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy Thompson. I've been working for 25 years as a medical practitioner, treating people from all walks of life for all sorts of medical problems. Have you ever wondered why it is that some people seem to have life altogether, whereas there's others in the world that seem to be constantly struggling? Now, it's a bit like that for me uh, as a medical practitioner. We have patients that come and see us. Some of them, they've got their lives all together. We only see them occasionally and their problems are pretty easily sorted out. And then they're off back into the world where they seem to be enjoying themselves and we don't see them for a long time. Then we've got this other group of patients and they seem to be constantly besieged by stress. They have a lot of mental concerns. They have a lot more bodily complaints. They come and see us more often for their medical conditions and they have a lot more anxiety and depression and relationship problems. And so I spent a lot of my life just wondering what really is the difference between these two groups of people. And now I've come up with a concept which I call the mixed bag concept. Because some of this second group of people when they come and see us, they'll start telling us about their problems and they seem to be very complex, they have a lot of problems. It's hard to really get to the bottom of it. We'll get up to problem number five and they'll be busily telling us about that and I'm thinking, gee, we still haven't sorted out problems number one and two yet. The whole story becomes very confusing with them. Their lives are confused, and it doesn't take long before the consultation gets confused. So there comes a point where I stop and I think, gee, I really need to get to know this person. And I don't know if you've ever feel, felt confused yourself about who you are as a person or how you're going in your life. Uh, it's not so easy when somebody asks you the question, tell me all about yourself, who are you? But that's the question that I will then ask these people, who are you? And this is the sort of thing that they will say. Well, I'm not really too sure who I am, but I know that I do have some, some good qualities. I have some uh, positive qualities in me. For instance, deep down I know that I'm a good person, I mean well, I try to do the right thing, uh, and I do care about others. So I'm quite a caring sort of person, and I like people too, so I am fairly social. Uh, but unfortunately I've got a few uh, negatives as well. Uh, for instance, I tend to get anxious and I worry a lot. Um, because of my worries, I tend not to go ahead and do some things that I know I probably could to do, and that makes me feel bad about myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm a, a bit of a loser, actually, and people say that I should try harder on things. Um, but then I also do have other positive qualities. I'm actually quite a creative person. Um, you know, I like uh, art and writing, and uh, yeah, a lot of creative abilities I'm sure I've got, but then again, lacking the self-confidence, it's hard for me to go ahead with that, so I so often stew on the fact that I haven't done really what I feel that I could do. Um, but school, yeah, I was also good at um, science and was quite good at maths. So I've got quite a few uh, positive qualities, as you know, a few talents. I'm actually a pretty good at sport, I'm good at uh, hand-eye coordination and that type of thing. But then I was never very tough as a sportsman and uh, I think that held me back, so I never really achieved any great heights with that either. And so, as they tell me the story of their life and the various things that have happened to them in the past, I come up with this fairly mixed picture as, as to who they are, and that in itself is quite confusing. And I'll say to people, is this how you see, see yourself as a bit of a mixed bag? And they'll say, yeah, that's exactly it. That's, how, that's who I am. I'm not really sure you know, whether I'm coming or going, or whether I'm a good person or a bad person, or, or who I am really, and it makes life hard for me. So I don't know if you feel this way yourself, but I think this is a really important thing to, to get sorted out. Because one of the reasons why that first group of patients that I was telling you about, one of the reasons we don't see so much of, about them is in fact they have a good sense of self, a good sense of who they are. It's not this mixed picture. So then when problems arise, they uh, know what it is that troubles them about those problems and what they want to do about it. And most of the time they can sort out these problems on their own. But when you see yourself as a mixed bag, it's hard to know which parts of you should react to this situation. Should I do this or should I do that? And so often people with this uh, self-perception will uh, start relying on other people. They'll ask them to tell them what should they do uh, rather than trying to work it out for themselves. So they'll become a follower rather than a leader and not really have a clear direction in life. Now, the other thing that's difficult about having this mixed concept bad concept and trying to live your life that way, is that um, you're, you're very vulnerable to the changing fortunes of the world. So for instance, sometimes life will be going well for you. Uh, your relationship might be going well and, and work might be good. And you might be getting some good feedback from work. People tell you, yes, you are quite a talented person. You've got these big qualities. You're, you're a, a good worker and an effective worker. 
you're a good lateral thinker. And uh, they more, the more encouraging feedback that you get from people, you can feel your positives within yourself growing and expanding. And uh, your self-concept starts to grow in size. And it's almost like these pluses are like big medals on an army general's chest and you start to feel very proud of yourself and who you are and you think, yes, I am a good person and you're really standing tall and, and moving ahead in the world and it's terrific. You're on a real high and you'd like to stay like this for quite a while. And of course, while you're like that, any minuses don't seem to bother you at all. You, you almost don't even feel their presence at all. But then of course, what happens when you go through a bad stage of life? Suddenly your partner dumps you. Suddenly you get retrenched from work and you, you, you feel very alone. You're, uh, you're stuck and, the, and your pluses seem to shrink away into insignificance a little bit there. You, very quickly they sort of phase out a little bit. You can't feel their strength behind you giving you encouragement anymore. And now, on the other hand, you start to feel your negatives and your self-doubts and they grow in size and you think, oh my God, what a weak, uh, useless person I am. You know, how vain and foolish I was to have ever thought that I was okay where really I'm, uh, you know, I'm quite negative and my anxieties and my fears um, are really quite hopeless. You might become uh, quite upset, you know, say if you have been through a relationship breakdown and you get other negative uh, forces developing within you, you might start to feel anger um, or grief and sadness and you start to get depressed. Often when you feel yourself going down, you lose your confidence, you start to get anxiety symptoms, nervy feelings rumbling through your body so that everything seems to be sort of falling apart and you can start sliding into a real hole. So this is one of the other problems with seeing yourself as a mixed bag, that you become vulnerable on the whims of the outside world and also the way that other people in the world might treat you. You're not quite as strong in yourself as this other group of people are. You're much more dependent on the way the world treats you. Um, Another reason why people start to feel like a mixed bag is because they're afraid. So when they're a young person growing up, they're a little bit uh, worried about what society thinks of them. Um, they uh, worry about the expectations put on them by parents and so on, and uh, they start to get a lot of should thoughts in them, that I should behave this way or I should do that. And all of these things stop them from developing the, a sense of self and who they are and working out the things the true qualities which within themselves uh, give them an inner sense of energy and, and positive feeling. So if this looks like a confusing way for any one individual to view themselves and try and live their life, imagine how hard it is when they then try and embark on a relationship with somebody else who also sees themselves as a bit of a mixed bag with some good qualities and interests and, and talents and, and, and attributes within them but also a few negatives as well. How hard is it to try and get a relationship going, try and match up your positives together, match up the interests that you have in common and have a good relationship without the negatives short-circuiting and firing off each other and turning into a fiery up and down relationship. Now, a lot of people look at life and they look at themselves and they think, well, that's just the way it is. That's the way I am. Uh, yeah, I'm a fiery up and down kind of person and this is the sort of relationship that I tend to get, get in. But actually, it doesn't have to be that way. I've been working with people over the last 10 years, people who've seen themselves like this as a bit of a mixed bag. And using the strategies that I'll show you in the next video, they've been able to change. They've been able to learn how to separate things out so that they can identify with who they really are, the true good person inside them, so that they can then handle their life issues much more functionally, much more effectively, and have better relationships with other people as well. How have they done it? Well, you've seen this visual concept, this visual way for looking at yourself in the mixed bag way. I will show you another visual concept, which is easy to understand and that people relate to. It's really helped patients of mine get an uplifting feeling and, and suddenly feel a lot better about themselves. It's given them a sense of, yeah, okay, now I can see what I need to do. And I'll show you this in the upcoming videos.